Welcome to the Wall Street Stockcast channel. All right, let's dive into a really fascinating investment thesis that's been making the rounds. We're going to pull apart the case for a company called Bitmine, ticker BMNR, and explore the roadmap that some analysts have laid out for it to potentially hit over $100 a share. So that's a pretty bold statement, right? But the analysis we're digging into today argues this isn't just wishful thinking. Our goal here is to really peel back the layers of this argument. We're going to look at the math, the key assumptions, and the logic that gets you to such a massive price target. So here's how we're going to break it all down. We'll start with the main thesis itself. Then we'll look at the four big pillars holding it up, the company's assets, the revenue it can generate, the whole psychology of market premiums, and its financial strength. And then at the end, we'll put all the pieces back together to see how the numbers add up. Okay, let's get right into the heart of it. The central claim here, the big idea from the source material, is that Bitmain stock could actually rocket past the $100 mark by 2026. Just to put that in perspective, going from around 27 bucks to over 100, well, that would be an absolutely enormous return. Now, just to be super clear, our goal here is to understand the hypothesis, the how and why behind this analyst case, not to endorse it as financial advice. We're just exploring the logic. Now, this whole forecast really hinges on a few huge assumptions. First, that the price of Ethereum goes way up. Second, that Bitmine fully executes on its business plan. Third, that the market gets excited and gives it a premium valuation. And finally, that this all happens during a wider crypto bull run. So with that in mind, let's see how this case is built starting right at the foundation. The first, and maybe the easiest layer to understand in Bitmine's value, is just what does it own? This is what we call its net asset value, or NAV. And for Bitmine, it's pretty much all about one specific thing. And this, this is the number that changes everything. 4.11 million Ethereum. According to the source, this makes Bitmine the single largest corporate holder of ETH on the planet. This isn't some complicated financial product. It's a massive, massive hoard of what some call digital gold. And it's the absolute core of their entire value. What's so powerful here is the direct leverage you see. If the price of ETH simply doubles from $3,000 to $6,000, the value of the company's treasury explodes to nearly $25 billion. This direct link is totally fundamental to the whole bull case. So just so we're all on the same page, net asset value, NAV, it's super simple. You just take everything the company owns, like its ETH and its cash, and subtract any debt it has. It's basically the sticker price for all of its stuff. And this right here illustrates a huge point from the source material. The analysis shows that with ETH at just 3000 bucks, the company's assets are worth about $31 for every share. So with the stock trading below that, the argument is that you're essentially buying their assets at a discount, a classic value investment idea. But the thesis doesn't just stop at what they own. See, this isn't just about a company sitting on a pile of assets. The next layer of value, the next gear in this engine, comes from putting that massive treasury to work to generate a huge recurring stream of income. And that engine is called staking. To put it simply, Bitmine takes its Ethereum, locks it up to help keep the network running securely, and as a reward for doing that, it gets paid in, you guessed it, more Ethereum. You can think of it like earning interest in a bank account, or maybe even collecting rent on a digital property. As you can see, the process is pretty straightforward. They stake their assets, which helps the network run, and for that service, they get paid. It creates this awesome flywheel of passive income. And the potential scale of this income, it is just enormous. The analysis projects that when they're fully up and running, and if ETH hits that $6,000 target, their staking could bring in over half a billion dollars in revenue every single year. That's a total game changer, and it's completely separate from the value of the assets they already hold. So this is a really crucial point. You know, analysts don't just value assets, they value earnings. And this staking machine, once it's firing on all cylinders, could bolt on an extra 10 to $20 of value to each share, just based on the cash it's expected to generate. Okay, so we've got the value of the assets, and we've added the value of the income stream. But there's a third layer to this whole thesis, and it's a little more abstract. It's about market psychology. It's about how investors can sometimes decide a company is worth even more than the sum of its parts. To really wrap your head around this, the analysis uses a great example, MicroStrategy. As the price of Bitcoin went crazy, investors were willing to pay way more for MicroStrategy stock than the actual Bitcoin it owned was worth. The argument is that Bitmine could become the go-to regulated stock for investors who want big exposure to Ethereum. 
and that could create a similar kind of frenzy. And, you know, this isn't just a wild theory. If you look at the data, Bitmine has traded at a premium before, as high as 1.6 times its asset value. The 2026 thesis we're looking at doesn't even assume it gets back to that crazy peak, just that it gets a more modest but still really powerful premium from the market. The math here is really simple, but its effect is huge. Let's say the underlying assets are worth 75 bucks a share. If the market gets excited and decides to pay just a 20% premium for it, that's a 1.2x multiple, boom. That adds another $15 to the share price, just like that. This premium acts like a massive multiplier on top of everything else. All right, now let's talk about the supporting pillars. A big, aggressive thesis like this needs a super strong foundation, right? The analysis argues that Bitmine's balance sheet is exactly that. It's both a safety net and a springboard for growth. The source points out a few key strengths. I mean, look at this, a massive $1 billion pile of cash, giving them flexibility, zero debt, which is huge, an active program to buy back their own stock, and even some smaller strategic bets with huge potential upside. And that billion dollar cash pile isn't just for defense, it's an offensive weapon. It lets the company be opportunistic. If the market takes a dip, they can go out and buy even more Ethereum, which would accelerate the growth of their net asset value and compound value for shareholders even faster. Okay, we're in the home stretch. We've seen all the individual components. So now let's stack them all on top of each other and see exactly how the analysis builds this path to a $100 plus stock. So, just as a quick recap, we've got those four key drivers, the core ETH treasury, the staking revenue machine, that potential market premium, and the rock solid balance sheet holding it all together. And this, this table just lays out the math perfectly. It's a breakdown right from the analyst models. You start with the base net asset value. At $6,000 ETH, that's calculated to be about 75 bucks a share, okay? Then you add the value from that staking revenue. Let's call it $15 a share. Now you're at 90. Then you apply that modest 1.2 times premium we talked about, which tax on another $18. And just like that, you've built the case for a $108 stock price. And the idea is that this doesn't just happen in a vacuum. The analysis points to a whole bunch of potential catalysts in 2026. Things like the full launch of their staking platform, potential ETF approvals for Ethereum, and just broader institutional adoption. All things that could help drive both the price of ETH and the positive sentiment needed to hit these kinds of targets. So in the end, it all comes down to this. The source material lays out a very clear, step-by-step, -step, mathematically driven case for how Bitmine could potentially deliver a legendary return for investors. All the pieces are there on paper, the assets, the yield engine, the history of market premiums. But the ultimate question, the one nobody knows the answer to is, will the company execute? Will the crypto cycle deliver? And in the end, will the market agree with the math? Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.